view over there. That's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Everybody, it is Mike Les, Farmhand Mike, and I am at AgCom near Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania, and I am here with Austin Zimmerman. Uh, these guys are a new Versatile dealer, and we are standing in front of a Versatile 210 Nemesis Series tractor with the CVT transmission in it. We're going to take this tractor for a spin and uh, show you all about this CVT transmission. I've done a few videos of the Versatile Nemesis Series tractors. There's three different models right now. There's a 175, a 195, and a 210 you see here. Uh, I have one at home that we've been running on the farm that I help out on, and uh, that is a 210 with the power shift. The CVT has just recently been released here, so this is a pretty nice transmission, and uh, we're taking it down the road here. So you got several options here, but this is straight through. You can either get these in a 40 kp or 25 mile per hour, or you get a 50 kp, which is about 31 miles per hour and you just push that lever forward when you want to speed up or pull it back to slow down a lot of different things you can do with this transmission here. The button just above the F there that is your speed mode shifts. So you can actually run this in two different uh, ways. You can run the turtle speed mode which is for speeds up to 12 mile an hour so if you're doing like heavy tillage in the field or something you're not going to be going above 12. You can run it in that turtle speed you get out on the road uh, then you can put it in the rabbit mode which will be speeds from 0 up to 25 mile per hour or if you have the higher speed transmission up to 31 mile an hour. There is also an automatic mode on this transmission. This allows the optimum travel speed and engine power where they're obtained according to the speed setting made with the tractor command center or the foot throttle. This mode would be used mostly for road travel, for like towing implements and stuff up and down the road, uh, mainly, or places where speed needs to be maintained and engine RPM is not as critical. In this mode, the engine speed will increase or decrease based on the load of the engine to maintain the desired speed. The tractor joystick also has a scroll dial item number six here in the picture, and that can also be rolled up or down to increase or decrease your travel speed. The other models with the power shift work very similar to this other than you have to shift gears. But as far as the tractor joystick and the command and everything, that is the same. Uh, they just operate a little differently. If you want to go back to some of my earlier videos on these tractors, I show how the power shift works from last spring and maybe I'll try to get one of those put on the link at the end of this video. These tractors do have a shuttle for changing direction. You do have the shuttle lever on the left side of the steering wheel. You can also use the F or the R button on the joystick. Here's the button I talked about earlier for the speed shift where you can go from the rabbit mode to the turtle mode back and forth if you desire. You can see me shifting it back and forth there. And here's a look at the F and the R button I talked about for changing direction. So you can use these two for changing from forward to reverse, or you can use the shuttle lever on the left side of the steering wheel right here. I'll just play around here a little bit with some of the controls, move this tractor back and forth just to show you. Over here on the joystick too, you have the F and the R. The blue lever is remote number one, the black lever is remote number two. Of course, you got three point command here. Um, you do have an end to row command, auto steer button, and so on.
we'll just walk around this tractor real quick. Uh, this has a suspended cab on it, has the trailer brakes, low pressure return and so forth. Uh, four remotes on the back. This tractor is ISOBUS compatible as well. This tractor also has the suspended front axle. Of course, you can put a loader on these tractors. This one also has the front three-point and PTO. There will soon be two larger models coming out here, like a 235 and a 255. I don't know the exact models yet, but those will be hitting the dealer's lots here real soon. Uh, these tractors are powered with a Cummins 6.7 liter diesel engine. Uh, I got a lot of seat time in one of the PowerShift 210s. Just a nice little tractor, and like I said, I'll put the link to some of those videos here at the end. This dealer has recently sold one of the power shift models to a local farm and we're going to be heading up there next and that will be a future video of that tractor in the field. This tractor will be getting demoed here locally so stay tuned, uh, should be a lot of good stuff coming from this dealership here in Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. If you're in the Pennsylvania area and you're looking for a versatile tractor, these are your guys. Uh, Austin, you want to tell us how to get a hold of you? Yeah, sure. So the best way is probably our phone, 717-559-0781. Or you can find us on the web at agcompa.com. All right. You guys have a Facebook page Yeah, we are too, on right? Facebook as well, so you can find us there. All right. Uh, this tractor, they're going to take it out. They're going to demo it. So if you're in the area looking for a demo, want to stop by and see it, it's here. Get a hold of Austin. Come on over. All righty. Thanks. Here's some random clips I have of this series, Versatile Tractors, out in the field. These clips have appeared in other videos from last year. There will now be five sizes of this tractor here with the Cummins 6.7 liter diesel, starting at the 175, 195, 210, 235, and 255. After that, Versatile has a series of row crop tractors from 275 up to 365. Then the articulated four-wheel drive models start out at 405 horsepower and go all the way up to over 600 horsepower where you can get those in either tires or tracks. For more information on Versatile tractors go to versatile-ag.com. Every time I post a picture of one of these series Versatile tractors on my Instagram I often get a comment or a question is that tractor a Kubota and the answer is no. This tractor was designed by Versatile. It is built at the Versatile factory in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. But Versatile does build the M8 series for Kubota. So they have a tractor that looks very similar to this. It's painted orange. There is a couple differences between the tractors. But for the most part, they're very similar. But it is made by Versatile. And that's going to do it for this video. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Stay tuned. There's going to be several more videos of this series of versatile tractors coming as these things are hitting the dealer's lots now. Uh, anyways, feel free to comment below. Hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, you know the drill. Hit that subscribe button. And you can also find me on Instagram and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. Thanks for watching, everyone.